Katie Jeffries. But we first want to begin with new evidence and information released in the disappearance and death of little Taylor Williams and the arrest of her mother, Brianna. The documents and videos, they paint a grim picture of what Taylor must have endured prior to her death last year and her mother's behavior just before and right after she reported her five year old missing. Now, Taylor Williams name and picture became known all over Jacksonville after she was the subject of an Amber Alert in November. She was found dead in the Alabama woods just six days later, but suspicious quickly turned to her mother, who authorities say was uncooperative. And after Taylor's body was found, Brianna tried to take her own life. Now we have a whole team in our newsroom going through the new documents and videos that were just released. Our Kaylee Tracy, she joins us live from the newsroom with the latest. Yeah, Katie, I've been pouring through some of these documents here. You can see tons of them, as you mentioned, along with my colleague Alex Ositis and our team up on the desk up there. We've been pouring through these documents all morning long, and because of this new evidence, and that is part of the reason why Brianna Williams defense team asked the judge this morning to push her pretrial back again. Now, just to remind you, Williams pleaded not guilty to two felony charges of child neglect and one felony count of lying to law enforcement officers back in January. Now, perhaps some of the most disturbing evidence we've sorted through so far comes from one of the search warrants. It says that detectives and the cadaver dog smelled decomposition coming from Williams car and from Williams apartment on the south side. It also says detectives said the smell of quote feces and urine was overwhelming coming from that same apartment. Detectives also found soiled children's underwear, soiled carpet and cans of soup that appeared to have small openings to drink out of that was found in that south side apartment as well. Now the judge this morning did pass Williams pre-trial. That is moved now to March 24th. And as I said, we're still sorting through all these documents and videos as well. We'll have more on just what they say and what else was found regarding this case tonight. So tune in then and you can also follow us on Twitter for more updates. For now, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.